Hello everyone! Today I would like to tell you about such a refractory metal as Arrhenium. Without it, there would not be high octane petrol and modern internal combustion engines. In the periodic table of chemical elements, Arrhenium belongs to the group 7 and is located on the bottom next tungsten. Rhenium is one of the least abundant metals in Earth's crust. It is truly a very rare and precious metal. Because it's been so rare, Rhenium was discovered only in 1925 by three German scientists. Today this metal is extracted as a byproduct in molybdenum mining from such a mineral as molybdenite. Pure ammonium perronate that metallic rhenium is extracted from is obtained as a result of refining and concentration of the ore. The main product used for producing rhenium is rhenium powder, which is later baked or melted into small drops. Drops of this metal shine very well because of being highly resistant to oxidation by oxygen in the air. Besides, the density of rhenium is just 1% smaller than that of osmium, the densest metal on Earth. That is why such a small drop weighs a whole gram and costs hooping 15 euros. When this drop is compared to 1 gram of lead, the difference in size becomes evident. Besides being high density, this metal also has a high melting point, which is just over 200 Celsius degrees smaller than that of tungsten. This metal is the second most refractory metal. If a drop of rhenium is heated until red hot with a powerful gas burner, you'll see the drop of this metal start oxidizing at high temperatures. It is also noteworthy that at temperatures higher than 215 degrees Celsius, the rhenium oxide layer can easily volatilize off the surface of the metal because of its low boiling point. Besides, such a volatile metal paints the flame in yellowish and greenish colors. This property of rhenium oxide is used to make rhenium electrical contact, which lasts for a long time, because rhenium oxide simply disappears on the surface of the contacts, leaving the shiny metal not oxidized. Let us continue testing out this rhenium drop and throw it into concentrated nitric acid. Now nothing seems to be happening. Upon heating up, things get more interesting. The rhenium drop slowly starts to dissolve in the acid, creating nitrogen oxide and rhenium acid, which is very soluble in water. Thus, we are etching the surface of the metallic drop to see its structure. After drying up and being thoroughly washed, we can clearly see the crystal structure of the metallic drop in micro shot. It looks stunning. However, this metal is known not for its beauty, but rather for its unusual properties and uses. One of its major properties is its extremely high melting point and its ability to make an alloy with nickel and other metals. That is why rhenium has recently begun being used in super alloys. Such alloys can withstand a lot of pressure at high temperatures. That is why they are used in the construction of reaction engines, especially those of military vehicles. However, the most interesting use of rhenium today is in the production of high octane petrol. The thing is, during regular rectification of oil, the light boiling components released which easily detonate upon the application of high pressure inside the automobile motor cylinder. To avoid that, they get reformed, that is, deprived of hydrogen, the process which is also known as isomeration. The other words, it is decreasing of the boiling temperature and increasing of the octane number. Usually in such a process, Silica gel covered rhenium and platinum particles is used as a catalyst. As a result, it creates petrol with high octane numbers that makes the engine efficient and saves fuel. To sum up, I can say that rhenium is a metal that not much known about, but it is an extremely useful metal. Without it, we will not to be able to drive gasoline-powered efficient vehicles. For the provided rhenium for the experiments, I'll thank the company onyxmed.com. I'll put a link to their site in the video description. If you would like to support the continuous production of science videos like this one, please support channel on Patreon. 
link in the video description. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel to see many more new and interesting videos.